During Japan's medieval period, or better known as the Sengoku Jidai, in 1561, one of the most famous samurai battles took place. It's called the Fourth Battle of Kawa Nakajima. The year is 1561, and the daimyo Takeda Shingen is power hungry. He rules Kai Province, which is a landlocked, mountainous region in the center of Japan. Takeda Shingen believes he is destined to become the most powerful ruler in Japan. He has big plans to invade and conquer the Imagawa to the south, to invade and conquer the Uesugi to the north, thereby giving him access to both the Pacific Ocean and the Sea of Japan, along with the greatest territory of all the daimyo in Japan. Shingen decides to attack the Uesugi first. He figures they are the weaker of the two clans, and once he takes their territory, he doesn't have to worry about being attacked from the rear. In the 1550s, Shingen heads north through Shinano province, defeating minor daimyo there. By 1560, he has his eyes set on Echigo, the home province of the Uesugi clan. During this time, the daimyo of the Uesugi was Kenshin. Uesugi! Kenshin still had a little respect for the shogunate. Therefore, out of loyalty for the shogun, the shogun declared Kenshin the Kanto Kanre, which means Kenshin was the deputy for the shogun over the Kanto region. Now, the Kanto region is far from Kenshin's homeland of Echigo. It's on the opposite side of Japan. At this time, while Kenshin is down there fighting and defeating the Hojo and trying to control the Kanto plain, Shingen is thinking, well, I think I can go, I can snatch up Echigo now. So he gathers his troops and starts heading north to invade Echigo province. Kenshin is informed by his spy network, yeah, geishas and ninjas, that Shingen has gathered up an army and is heading north towards his home province of Echigo. Kenshin immediately ends his actions in the Kanto plain. Settle up boys and heads home, rushes as fast as he can to his home base. Kasuga Yama Castle, where he plans his strategy against Shingen. After three minor conflicts slash battles with Shingen in the past, oh. <sighs> Kenshin at this point is quite fed up with Shingen. He decides that, all right, I gotta take care of this guy once and for all, and decides to initiate the attack first. So in late August, at the top of his mountain. On his castle, Kasuga Yama Castle, he makes an inspiring speech to his men. Men, let's go kick some ass! Or something to that effect. And they ride off towards Shinano province. Kenshin had been informed that Shingen and his army were garrisoned at Kaizu Castle, the northernmost castle in Shinano Prefecture, on the edge of Uisugi territory. Attacking Kaizu Castle would take time, effort, and possibly heavy losses, of which Kenshin was not willing to concede, so he came up with an alternate plan. Leaving 4,000 men stationed at Zenkoji Temple to protect his rear, just in case Shingen managed to get around him. Kenshin marched his other 12,000 men down to Mount Saijo, where he encamped, quickly setting up defensive positions. His plan was to wait on the mountain, harass Shingen, draw him out of the castle where they could meet on an open and even field of battle. Kenshin actually made a bad tactical mistake. Because of bad intelligence, Kenshin did not know that Shingen and his main army had not reached Kaizu Castle yet and the castle was only protected by a small garrison of men. If Kenshin had immediately attacked Kaizu Castle, he could have taken the castle with ease. Just days after Kenshin encamped on Mount Saijo, Shingen managed to sneak around Kenshin on the opposite side of the Chikuma River at night with his full army and enter Kaizu Castle. It became a waiting game. Days went by, weeks went by. Shingen was an ambitious warmonger who liked to attack and just couldn't sit around. So he asked his top strategic general, Yamamoto Kansuke, to come up with a plan to leave the castle and attack Kenshin on Mount Saijo. Yamamoto Kansuke, Shingen's military strategist, 
came up with a pincer plan. A large portion of the army would sweep around from the southeast and push Kenshi down off the mountain, while the rest of the army, with Shingen, would wait to the north and attack from the other side when Kenshin's army started coming down. September 10, 1561. 12,000 men of Shingen's army moved out to sweep around from the southeast and surprise attack Kenshin in the morning. Shortly after that, 8,000 more men, along with Takeda Shingen himself, headed northwest to encamp, encamp out on Kawanakajima Plain. This is the big, no major, no huge, key point in the battle. When Uesugi Kenshin made an incredible strategic maneuver, somehow, and the exact reason is up for speculation, but somehow, Kenshin knew of Shingen's pincer attack. Because Kenshi knew of the pincer attack and knew that a large force was coming around from the south to surprise him in the morning, Kenshi, at about 2 o'clock in the morning, moved his entire 12,000 man army off Mount Saijo, across the river, and out onto Kawanakajima Plain. Kenshin also left a small garrison of men stationed at the river to delay the Takeda Southern Forest when they realized they had been tricked. Early morning rolls around. Takeda Shingen and his generals are sitting in the command area drinking coffee. No, don't think so. Drinking tea, maybe. Feeling confident and secure, the day will be theirs. However, things don't seem quite right. Scouts are reporting in that there are no battle sounds or movements up on Mount Saijo. The fog starts to lift, followed by marching sounds coming from the west of their position. Shingen and his guards are in shock. Is that Kenshin's army? Initially confused and bewildered, Shingen and his generals get a grip on the situation quickly and start barking out orders like crazy. Musket lines are ordered to fire immediately so that the noise could be heard by the 12,000 men army stuck up on Mount Saijo. Kenshin's army attacks. The experienced Takeda army quickly reorganize and set up defensive positions. The battle raged for a couple of hours with no clear progression on either side. If Kenshin didn't decisively destroy the northern force quickly, Kenshin would lose his advantage. It was then that one of Japan's most famous samurai stories took shape. Kenshin was desperate to destroy or rout Shingen's army as quickly as possible before the other 12,000 men showed up. He yelled to his guard, follow me! and went charging off in the direction of the main battle. Kenshin was on a mission, on a mission to get Shingen's head in order to destroy morale among the Takeda troops. Him and his guard fly over the battlefield, burst through the front line, and charge full board toward Shingen's command center. The cloth-walled command area crashes down as Kenshin flies into the center on his horse. He spots Shingen sitting in a chair and draws his sword back. Kenshin strikes with his katana, but Shingen blocks it with his war fan. Kenshin strikes with his katana, but Shingen blocks it with his war fan again. Kenshin strikes with his katana, but Shingen blocks it again. Three times Kenshin strikes at Shingen. Shingen managed to block all the blows with his war fan. Shingen's elite guard rushes back to protect him. A nearby Takeda foot soldier guard takes a poke at Kenshin, misses and stabs his horse instead. Kenshin's horse jumps, bolts, and runs off. By this time, many Takeda guards had managed to surround Shingen, and seeing that he's way outnumbered now, Kenshin bolts off, failing to kill his adversary. It wasn't long after that that the 12,000 men that were stuck up on Mount Saijo started to show up and reinforce Shingen's army, seeing that it would be impossible to win now. Kenshin decides to disengage and retreats back to Zenkoji Temple. Takeda Shingen's army gave a half-hearted chase, but both armies were extremely battle-weary and the day ended there. Takeda Shingen lost 4,000 men. Uesugi Kenshin lost 3,000 men. However, Takeda Shingen also lost three of his top generals, including Yamamoto Kansuke and his younger brother, Takeda Nobushige. Takeda Shingen's goal to invade and conquer Echigo failed. However, Uesugi Kenshin's goal to stop Shingen succeeded. Although 
The casualties were about the same on either side, and the battle was rather undecisive. Uesugi Kenshi managed to stop Shingen, therefore winning a strategic victory. If you would like to visit the place where the Battle of Kawanakajima took place, or Kaizu Castle, which is now called Matsushiro Castle, it's about an hour and a half ride on the Hokuriku Shinkansen from Tokyo Station or Ueno Station to Nagano City. From Nagano Station, it's about a 45-minute ride on the bus to either location.